That's a really nice was a beautiful filet. So we just went over to the bait shop. I got some uh, some clams and some shrimp and some weights. And we're gonna go go up on the jetty. I'm gonna strap the GoPro on, and uh, we're gonna try to get a few tog. Uh, this is the second to last day of the season, and I haven't been out yet. So hopefully, I can get it done and get a couple. I'll see you on the water. All right, we just got down to the water. I uh, just got my rods ready, locked my bike up. I'm gonna head down there. Conditions are looking pretty good. Tide's kind of low, but should be filling as we come. So hopefully we get a few fish. I'll keep you guys updated as we go along. So here, I just slide the shrimp right through the hook and kind of feed it up almost like it's on a jig head. And pretty much like, just like that is how I like my bait to look. So it dangles nicely in the water. And I'm fishing the uh, three eighth ounce uh, jig on a uh, Penn Battle One. Uh, this is a, a 4,000 right here. I have it paired with an Akuma Custom Black Rod. Um, in total, this is like a $150 setup. Super cheap and affordable. And it uh, catches quite a bit of fish. like the one problem about fishing on all these rocks pretty much every time I turn around I'm snapping off but I guess it's just part of the game now uh, right here we're gonna switch up uh, I'm going to just a little bit small I might actually even be the same this right here is just like a Bass Pro Shop custom reel I got this on a uh, Black Friday this one here is a, um, a pro qualifier it works really good in freshwater but I started using uh, saltwater for a bit I like the way they fight on it uh, I got 25 pound uh, powerful braid on there and then a um, 25 pound uh, monofilament leader this rod right here I got this one off Amazon the uh, NT sport casting rod um, it comes with uh, two parts and good travel rod came in the case and this one's only about 30 bucks so you know in total this here this is probably about another 130 it's another really affordable option Raise, we raise, hit the bottom. That's a better fish. That's a much better fish. That's a really nice fish right there. Oh my gosh. That's a really nice fish. That's a keeper. Oh, that's a keeper all day. That's a keeper all day. Oh my gosh. That's a stud. That's an absolute stud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's that's a big one. That's keeper. All day. Absolute. Smoked the bottom sweeper. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a really nice fish right there. Stay right here, buddy. Big old white chin stud. Super stoked I got that fish, but I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get right back down there and do the exact same thing again. Let's go.
I'm just gonna show you guys how I tie it. I think this is just like, I don't actually know the name of it, but basically you just make the loop, you twist it. I twist mine six times. Four, and then six. I put it through this hole right here. And I don't close it. I then go back around through the hole I just created. And I grab the line. Now I bite it. And now it's gonna come down like this. And it's gonna cinch it. Pull it. Just like that. And then just bite off the uh, the tag. And just like that. Pretty good little knot right there. So we're all at a jig, so I'm going back uh, to my spinning reel. Let's try and move this GoPro. So we're all at a jig, so I'm going back to the spinning reel here. I got a, a two ounce sinker uh, a couple inches up. I just have like a, a little small circle hook and a, um, a shrimp. Uh, it's just a rig I got off YouTube, off John Skinner's YouTube. Uh, but I, got, I don't have any more jigs, so hopefully this can get the job done. We got some uh, some fresh clam right here and a pair of scissors. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna trim these up into nice little pieces like this. We're gonna use these now. There's one. Nice fish, dude. Another really nice fish. That's a. That might be another keeper. That's another keeper right there. Oh my goodness. Real fat fish. I didn't even know he was up. That's a big fish, man. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, he's coming home with us. He is coming home with us. Nice fish. I'm gonna get him up. He drops down one of these holes. It's happened to me too many times. Oh yeah, beautiful tog. That's a healthy, that's a really healthy fish. On the, on the pen battle. Beautiful tog, man. All right, everyone. I'm gonna uh, call it a day there. I was just about out of bait. I ain't caught anything in a while. The tide's getting kind of high. And uh, I don't have boots on, so I was getting, I was getting kind of wet out there, but I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna head back to the house. I'm gonna get uh, my rods and reels cleaned off. And then I will see you at my new fillet table that I got for Christmas. And I'm going to show you guys the proper way to clean a blackfish, aka totog. Now I just changed back into some fishing clothes. Uh, or you change out of the ones and I put on some more like fillet appropriate clothes. I'm going to uh, get this uh, new fillet table set up that um, I got from uh, One Stop Bait and Tackle Shop. Make sure you guys check them out. Um... I guess you could say they're the sponsor of today's video because I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without them. But I'm going to set this fillet table up right now and then I'm going to show you guys the proper way to fillet a tog. Alright, I'm going to show you guys the proper way to fillet a tog here. Uh, right here I have my uh, 12 inch uh, Dexter knife. I've been using this knife for about two years now, it's been great for me. Uh, you always want to keep your knives very sharp. Um, so I have one of these right here, I got this off Amazon. It's just an average knife sharpener. This protects like your knuckles from getting cut. I'm gonna put the knife down like this. And I'm gonna drag it across four or five times. This one was about 18 inches right here. It was uh, 16 and a half inches. So when you're filleting a tog, first thing you wanna do is you wanna make a cut right behind this skin right here going all the way up to their head guys right behind that and then go come all the way
way down their stomach area. You don't make, you want to make sure you don't miss any of that meat all the way up in the top of the head. You want to get the knife as far up as you can. Remember, just tracing it. Nice and easy. Some people have a better side. This tends to be my better side. That's why I start with it. It doesn't have to be fast. You're just trying to make sure you don't leave any meat on this fish. Because if you're gonna, if you're gonna take it, you know, the live of anything, you want to make sure that you um, that you can get, you know, as much out of it. So this fish right here is gonna be put to good use. Trace it down. Right there. Get nice and easy. You don't want to get too close to the bone, or else you're gonna pick up, you know, some of like the small rib bones and stuff. The harder parts going over this rib cage right here. You just gotta navigate it. here you see we're getting to the end oh. you just want to that's why we sharpen our knives just get it right off and you're gonna have a your first fillet that looks um something like this make sure that you start all the way in the back you just do a little indent and then you angle your knife, knife. angle the knife if you got a sharp knife, if you're using a Dexter knife, or really any kind of knife, you're gonna be able to cut through the fish like butter. So you grip up on it. Every time you move, every time the knife moves, you move your hand. And there's definitely some bones in there. When you get to the end, just like that. And you got a fillet. Not a lot of meat left on that skin right there. So that, I mean, that is a, that's a pretty good fillet. But, when you're doing it, you just break them into sections. If you do it in sections, it makes it much easier. So now, I got my chunk right here. I'm gonna split it down the middle. This one, I'll probably be able to make four chunks out of it. You know, these are just perfect little, you know, little bite-sized pieces. This I'm gonna go down and uh, I'm gonna go dump these fish in the water. Uh, just keep a, you know, keep the ecosystem going. I'm sure crabs or something will love these. And um, clean off the flay tail, we'll get all my knives set. And then I will see you guys in the kitchen. We're gonna do, uh, for the ceviche, along with the fish, two large uh, red bell peppers, one onion, and then I didn't film it, but we have some tomatoes already cut up. All right, so we got all the veggies cut up, got the lime in the ceviche. Ceviche goes in the fridge. A couple minutes, put it out, add all the veggies. All right, thank you guys for watching that last video. Um, I just wanted to, I get to do that kind of stuff a lot. Uh, we have a pretty good fishery uh, a couple blocks away from my house in Lake City. So I was glad I was able to document some of it yesterday and show you guys. If you guys enjoy those type of videos, let me know because I'll definitely like to do more of them. They're really fun for me to film and I've never even caught like one of my fish on a, on a GoPro before. So it was really interesting to see that. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys next time.